Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about if Fortnite Battle Royale is a good casual game. Now, I'm not doing Save the World because that game is eventually going to be free to play, and I will probably review it at that time when it's free to play. And I don't really, I don't feel like paying for it just because, you know, with the game's collection I have, like, I have Kingdom Come Deliverance on the back burner right now because of all the fun games I have. So, Fortnite Battle Royale. Very cartoony type of game, you know, it's considered the non-hardcore version of PUBG by us PUBG players, and it is considered by the Fortnite players to be the PUBG killer. And I think they're not even similar games, they just have Battle Royale in them and you have to drop from a fucking flying thing, right? They're not really that similar. Now, with Fortnite, it has a very simple inventory system. You can carry five items. And, you know, you can carry as many building materials as you want, up to 999 of each. But items, you carry five. You can carry as much ammo as you want. And the map is very small, and the games are very short. Like, I mean, when I'm playing that game, I'm like, oh, this game hasn't been going on very long. And there's only half the people left alive. Like, it messes with me. Now, Fortnite, with the loot... Gathering is very simple. You just go through the houses, the stuff's on the ground, you don't gotta look through stuff, it's all brightly colored. And it has its building mechanics. And the building mechanics are very important to learn. You can be a good builder or a good fighter, but you need to be both if you want to win Fortnite most of the time. Sometimes being a good builder, being a good builder is only good if you're on a team. Being a good fighter can sometimes get you out of bad situations, but it's, like I said, really important to be both. And playing this game, it's not really that different when you go from solo to duos to squad, except that you're calling people out and you're going up against teams, until you realize that there's a lot of combinations of stuff you can make. Fortnite is one of those games that's very simple to learn, but very hard to master. The building system, whether you're on PC or Xbox, there's a lot to take into consideration with it. Where you're building up walls and building towers in specific ways, then you get to the movement, right? You can use guns to shoot through things, grenades to blow things up, and you can jump over stuff. You can jump really high in this game, and it doesn't affect your momentum too much either. So, while basically, here's what an ideal Fortnite situation is. Two players fighting each other is... Let's just say they have a golden AR and let's just say a purple tack shotgun and a golden sniper rifle or something, right? They're probably going to be sniping at each other until they run out of ammo. Then they're going to AR each other and one's going to decide to build towards one and they're going to be building up and shooting at each other at the same time while they're building up. Maybe someone has grenades that I didn't even know about. They're throwing grenades at each other, building away from the grenades, just constantly building things to try and outbuild the other person, get on top of them and kill them. Or sneak below them and kill them that way. You know, there's a ton of ways that the Fortnite combat system with the building gets dynamic. Maybe the other guy tries to take out the base of the other person's tower so that they don't have a tower anymore. That's how Fortnite works. Fortnite's very brutal in its combat system. It also has metas. If you watch my video about metas, you would know that some games, especially games with loot or classes, there's better weapons than others, right? Usually, in my opinion, a pistol in Fortnite is not as good as some of the SMGs, right? But a pistol can also outbeat an SMG if you know how to use it right. So... Fortnite, as a casual game, I think it's it's alright as a casual game. You definitely have to sink a bit of time into it to get good, or at least decent, and know what you're kind of doing. But, like PUBG, it's going to take tons of games to actually win a game. It's going to take tons of games to learn how to aim, how to dodge bullets, and really... It's an accessible game because it's free and the controls are simple. But if you only have a couple hours a day, man, or not a day, a week, it's not going to be good. Now, if you have a bunch of time and you're looking for a game that you might want to sink more time into, 
Maybe you're going to make it your main game, but still play other games. Fortnite works great as a main game, right? You just get on, play a couple games, take a break, get on, play a couple games because the games are short. So I think as a casual game, it is better than PUBG, but still not the best casual game of choice. If you're looking for a game that, you know, not, not necessarily as easy, but you don't have to sink a lot of time into. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Fortnite being a casual game. I'm torn on it, actually. I'm very 50-50 on this right now because of the way Fortnite is very accessible, simple, easy to learn, but it's hard to master. You need to sink a lot of time into it if you're going to win a game. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.